you want to move the microphone over to me? Let him get open the statement tonight. Go ahead, Doug. Tell him what we tell him what tell him about tonight. Yeah. So since me and Coach Stackhouse have been here, it's our first time being in Kentucky. We set the goal last year after we lost the Messi turn. We said we we're going to beat all the teams that we hadn't beat yet. Um, this was a team that we hadn't beat, so we came out tonight. We, our big fella went down, and we came out and got it done for him. Okay. You have uh, questions? I'll raise your hand. Get the walk the microphone to you. Hands, please. Uh, Jordan, can you just walk us through that that final play, that final shot, what you saw, and, and what happened? Yeah, so originally, Coach kind of said we kind of like a fake time out there. We wanted to get Ezra down here, catch him off guard, but they were kind of ready for it. But after that, I just told Ezra, give me the ball. Coach trusted me in that moment. I just got to my spot and made a shot. Jordan, like you said, this was the first time in your career that you'd beat Kentucky. What does doing it on that shot and in this environment mean to you? For sure, it feels great. I mean, it feels great. This is a game we knew we had to win to keep our hopes alive for the March Madness. Um, we let one get away at LSU, so we know we had to come down here and get this one. So, you know, we, I'm not going to say it's just another game. It's definitely a huge game for us, but it's a win that we needed. Uh, Stack, do you have any updates on Liam Robbins' injury? Not, not yet. I mean, tomorrow we'll um, he get reevaluated. He had a lower leg um, injury. Um, but right now we just kind of hold off and, and, and get back and get more results tomorrow. Uh, Stack, what does it say about the, this resiliency of your guys to lose him like four or five minutes into the game and be in this kind of environment and, and play the way you did? We played without Liam before. I mean, obviously we're, we're, we're a better team when he's a part of it, but uh, we, we, you know, QMB. I mean, he's, I mean, it speaks to, to our team and um, other guys stepping up and, and being ready. I mean, I, I think we preach that. That's kind of been our uh, moniker, you know, since, since my time here. Again, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And I thought, um, you know, Q, he kept himself in shape. He hadn't played as many minutes, you know, since Lim has kind of been on a tear here lately. But, you know, he stepped in and filled in admirably. I thought Malik Dia came in and gave us some big minutes as well. Uh, Miles and, and Jordan were down there, you know, fighting. Chiway, um, you know, he's, he's a load down there, but you know, our guys just, just continue to battle, man. And we, I think we, we still got a lot of basketball ahead of us, um, uh, but uh, we're just, just, just happy about, you know, t tonight coming in and having something to play for at this time of the year um, and, you know, and beating the king at his house is, is pretty special. I mean, I, mean, I, I think it's, I, I got so much respect for, for Calipari and what he's built and, and what he's done, his programs. I mean, everybody had him buried at the, at the beginning of the year, and then he got his teams playing as well as anybody in the country right now. So this is a big feat for us, not just to come here and beat them, but being a team that's been probably playing as, as good a basketball as, as anybody. Um, so we, we know that we, got a, uh, we still, still got work to do. We got a big game at home. Um, we should be be crazy on, on Saturday against Mississippi State to close out our season and, and hopefully finish on, on a strong note um, heading into the SEC tournament where we could possibly see this team again. It, as Jordan said, that that was a, a fake timeout where Ezra dribbled over. It looked like looked like he was asking you to call. And, and no, no, no. I wanted them to go. I, when I seen kind of them, you know, I thought they were assuming that we were going to call the timeout, and then I saw a lane. I mean, I felt the lane that I could have drove through there, so I felt like he, 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 he could have got there as well with his speed. But um, I, guess, I think once they saw that, they kind of, you know, balanced out a little bit. And then, but then I, don't know, I just felt like we, you know, they don't, don't get a chance to set their defense, and now we get a chance to attack. Jordan got the ball and made a great play. I mean, we got, we got a lot of guys that can attack one-on-one -on -one and get in the paint. And um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I give them a hard time about spinning in the lane um, sometimes, but I ain't going to give them a hard time about that one. I, I'll take that one tonight. Jordan, you probably didn't have maybe the last two weeks, at least statistically, that you wanted. What do you think was different tonight? Was there a different confidence or anything of that sort? Just staying ready. Um, Coach challenged me at the last game. He challenged me at the last game. He told me that I need to pick it up. That's what I did tonight. Came out, stayed focused, stayed locked in, kept getting my work in, kept doing my routine, and, and showed tonight. Uh, Stack, what does it say about Jordan, Ezra, and Q that they were all able to be in there at the end with four fouls and none of them fouled out? No, I guess our guys just, just battled. I, I'm, I mean, I'm proud of how we battled. Like I said, we didn't play our best game, but we played we played a tough game. I mean, I thought that the key one of those key plays was um, in the first half when, when Tyron 
Uh, when he dove on the on the floor and, and got that loose ball and we were able to get get something out, you know, transition and get us a little bit of separation at half. I mean, I think that was a, a key play for us. But those guys, I mean, these are you know, veteran guys. That's what we talked about, what we worked, worked for to continue to build our program, to have these guys to understand the system and, and, and understand what's what's needed of them. You know, even though we had a great win. Um, last game, I was I was a little disappointed because this knucklehead right here wasn't a part of it the way he was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So I challenged them to get back and be who he needed to be for us. And and because um, we started in this thing together, this is my very first recruit, this first guy that I signed at Vanderbilt. So I get a little bit emotional with this one right here because he's, you know, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. That's what it's, you know, this this is a great moment for us, a great moment for our program. And I'm glad that he was able to, to help us do it tonight. Got one or two more. Anyone else? Uh, was that play at the end of the first half designed for Quentin to take that three there? Absolutely not. But, <laughs> but uh, no, but, it, but it's, it's an option. You know what I'm saying? It's an option. It was supposed to be a loud play, but they, you know, they dropped back on him and Q stepped down. I mean, him and Liam. You know, they spend more time working on threes than I would like for my five men to do, but, it, but it's paying off. He knocked it down tonight. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's go, boy.